There we go, we got the new welder. Lincoln 180 mid pack. Got the new tank. Got the juice. Just running iron on because that's all we got in this little town. And I gotta set the wire speed to six and I think that's what I had a lot. I'll do a little practice on that there. You can see this here. This flux. Flux sucks. And this is my my first beat. And then I ran out of gas. And then three weeks later, I got gas. This is what it looked like without no gas. That was, that's, I don't know, I think that was, yeah, one, that was my first one, one, and then this was two, and then this was my last, and I haven't welded in 20 years. Eh, not bad. It's like riding a motorcycle, once you turn on a pop a wheelie, you always pop a wheelie. Yeah, I'll try this. Octomatic. Come on. Gas and everything else. Try this out. Oh. Try not to jiggle that around. Well, let's try this out for a second. Not bad, not bad. I wonder if that's... Well, it'll be good enough for what I gotta do. I just gotta attack this plate. Attack this plate, then I can take the mortar off. Spot on there. Oh no. Not enough ground to just. There we go. I'll keep that for a little bit around. Thing of beauty. Twelve hundred bucks. Three seconds to work. And I always unplug this when I'm not running it. And I turn my gas off because I won't be doing this for a while.
Yeah, this welding had some boo boos. I uh, I got this here uh, tank, and I uh, I was trying to fit my old welder underneath that shelf because that that welder was nine eleven hundred on for eight or eight or nine hundred, so that was a good deal. I had an old tank since I lived in Alberta for four years. I'm lucky I they would even take it uh, trade me, but it was their brand name, and they did, so that was good. And then the, this rack was 160 at Canadian Tire in Canada, and it came on for 60. So I was lucky I grabbed that. And anyway, uh, when I went to put the tank on, I only had the one chain on the t top, and it wasn't tight or nothing. And I went to put my little welder on the bottom there to see if it would fit, because a friend of mine wanted to buy a cart only if his old welder would fit in the same as mine. So. Um, when I did that, the tank fell over and I busted the, the, the left gauge right off it. So I had to buy a new one gauge. It was about 40 bucks and then 20 shipping. Then I looked online and there was a, the Princess Auto had a discontinue or, or yeah, discontinue or something, whatever it was going. They had a few left they wanted to get rid of. And uh, I got that, the whole cluster, all that brass, the, both the gauges, everything, the whole, everything for 40 bucks shipped to me. For nine bucks so that's pretty darn good but anyway live and learn right so now i got both chains on and i tie wrapped them all on there and i, I tie wrapped the chains on the inside and i am not screwing around no more but that's a thing of beauty that welder i got the 220 power for and everything but anyway so here we go i got that tacked on that looks pretty groovy seems a little pretty good The wife's out there stacking the friggin' firewood. I think the dog's driving her nuts. Yeah, I think they got that pretty straight. The chain sounds weird though. I guess it was all, I don't know, it's been in a box for a thousand years. It's new. But I am going to go to 420. This is all just for testing purposes only cars and camera crew will say okay so now for my next trick and you don't have to be a, a brain scientist to figure this out you know. and um, all you really need is a little FTFM fix that friggin machine garage keep your stick in the ice your right hand crank fellas Next, we gotta fix the lawn tractor and four more mini bikes to get rocking and rolling. And uh, so now I'll just shut this off because the rest is kind of boring. I'll, uh, I'm gonna spray paint where all those that plate is and where the holes are, and then I'll know where to drill. And that'll be when I'm done the drilling part. That's when I'll come back on here and I'll and I'll show you uh, how it all sized up if it does all. Anyway, this is uh, Gabster at uh, FDFM Garage. Fix that friggin' machine garage. Keep your stick in the ice. Right hand cranked. Or out. So here we go, today's work, and uh, I'm just setting this welder up so I didn't get, I don't know I'm going to weld it until I'm absolutely sure everything's where it's got to be. But you can see I got, uh, I got those slots started there, so that's all I'm doing is I'm starting off with a, a 1 8 bit for a pilot, and then I use this one to ream them out uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna do the center center ones, and then it'll just be hand file for a week or three, and get that all done. Other than that, it's starting to come together. Yeah, and this old welder, brand new, big pack, love it now. Thank you.
Anyway, uh, that's about all for now. We'll get this monster set up on there sooner or later and keep it rocking over out. Hey, Tama. Say hi to everybody. Hey there, hon. Wow. Look at it. It's, a, it's a back together. Yeah, eight inch stretch. Right on. And the boys at Cars and Cameras there, John and Isaac, they say to push it. So you don't feel any binding or nothing. Look at that. I don't feel any binding. I don't see any binding. Right on. Hey, I got it lined up really good. Awesome. Forwards and backwards. So now I take it back in and weld on the chain tensioner. Yeah. And the kickstand back on. Ah, uh, then we get to see it go zoom zoom. And then no, and then I take it all apart again. Oh. And do body filler. Yeah. Sand it off, prime it, paint it, clear it. For another couple of weeks. I'm not running fenders because it's a drag bike. But you can see I, I got bored to death waiting for my welding part, so I painted this. This is uh. That boogie red, it's uh. Safety red. No, uh, it's uh. That song, um. Boogie, boogie. Boogie, something, I think it's boogie red or something. Anyway, I'll figure it out. It looks pretty good. I can't wait for the rest of the bike to be the same color. And I can't wait to start this up. There's no oil or gas in it yet, so. Theoretically, I could put gas and oil in this and go and ride this. Woohoo! No brakes or nothing, though. Oh, just wait. So I got 10 teeth on the 300, 3,000 stall clutch and 75 teeth in the back. If you measure that out, it should go from zero to about, I don't know, 35, 40 in about eight, nine seconds or something like that. Yeah. With a little kid on it. With me, about a half an hour. Are, are, <laughs> aren't you getting chewed up by the black flies? Yeah. Me too. Okay, I'm going to push this little darling back in and... Uh, Catch on the flip side, keep your stick in the ice. The right hand cranked over and out. FCFN garage. Don't forget, everybody, if you like us, hit subscribe. Have a good day.